The voiceless velar fricative is a type of consonantal sound used in some spoken languages. It was part of the consonant inventory of Old English and can still be found in some dialects of English, most notably in Scottish English, e.g. in lock, broch or saw willow. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is X, the Latin and English letter X. It is also used in broad transcription instead of the symbol chi, the Greek chi, or, more properly, the Latin chi for the voiceless uvular fricative. There is also a voiceless postvelar fricative also called pre in some languages. For voiceless prevelar fricative also called postpalatal, see voiceless palatal fricative. Topic. Features Features of the voiceless velar fricative Its manner of articulation is fricative, which means it is produced by constricting air flow through a narrow channel at the place of articulation, causing turbulence. Its place of articulation is velar, which means it is articulated with the back of the tongue the dorsum at the soft palate. Its phonation is voiceless, which means it is produced without vibrations of the vocal cords. In some languages the vocal cords are actively separated, so it is always voiceless, in others the cords are lax, so that it may take on the voicing of adjacent sounds. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Varieties Occurrence The voiceless velar fricative and its labialized variety are traditionally postulated to have occurred in Proto-Germanic, the ancestor of the Germanic languages, as the reflex of the Proto-Indo-European voiceless palatal and velar stops and the labialized voiceless velar stop. Thus Proto-Indo-European asterisk ker, nom, horn, and asterisk kaod, what, became Proto-Germanic asterisk hernan and asterisk hwat, where asterisk h and asterisk hw were likely to be x and x. This sound change is part of Grimm's law. In modern Greek, the voiceless velar fricative with its allophone the voiceless palatal fricative c, occurring before front vowels originated from the ancient Greek voiceless aspirated stop k, in a sound change that lenited Greek aspirated stops into fricatives. See also Guttural Index of phonetics articles equals equals notes